The best ideas are free with Ben Young from Bwaggy.com. Indeed, the best ideas are free. Ben Young, Bwaggy.com, B-W-A-G-Y uh, dot com. Uh, joining us this morning. Morning, Ben. Good morning. <laughs> How are you this morning? Good. Really good. 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 Yourself? You sound a little bit chipper than perhaps I am this morning. I, I, th- <laughs> I thought I woke up this morning thinking... No, no, I'm all right. No, this is great. This is great. No, 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 no. I what? really needed a weekend to recover from the weekend. What were you up to this weekend? I went to something called Kiwi Foo Camp. Now, that's an unconference, isn't it? It is an unconference. It's also kind of like a summer camp at the same time. You know, I was, I was wandering around uh, uh, with my coffee mug, my yep. branded Kiwi Foo coffee mug, yep. and I checked myself at one point. I went, oh, hang on. This is like, like, like a summer camp. This is kind yeah, of yeah. what you do. I, I'm a cliche. <laughs> it's very close to Kiwi FM as well. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, yes it is. But and basically, what it is, it's, it's the um, it's some very smart minds in technology and science and many other fields as well, including media, obviously, because I was there as well. Um, I wouldn't say I'm smart, but anyway, I'm part of that. Uh, <laughs> and um, and they all come together with no agenda set for what is yep. actually going to happen. Um, and that's what you that's what you create on the first day. Yeah. And that's why it's called an unconference. Yeah. So now do you get it? I do get you it. You do get and it. It's a fantastic way to um, to create conversation, and rather than just being a one way thing, because normally at most conferences someone stands up and then they have a PowerPoint presentation. Yeah. They go blah blah blah. Yeah. This is what I'm doing. Blah blah blah. Any questions? Yeah. This is this is more like. Here's a topic. I really want to discuss this. I want to know more about this. Or yeah. I know something about it. What do you yeah. know? Do you want to yeah. ask me questions? And so so it's a, maybe like a five-minute introduction yeah. to it, and then the rest is all conversation yeah. and discussion. It can get really heated sometimes, yeah. it, but it can. it's always engaging and really interesting. Yeah. yeah. What, what I like about unconferences is, is that the subject matter isn't compromised for everyone. Like, for example, if I was to talk about internet marketing, I'd have to talk about the basics, the bulk of the medium average information and then the stuff that I'm doing cutting edge I can only cover a little bit of that yeah but at an unconference because it's all about the conversation I can just focus on the bit that I'm really passionate about yeah and then I might only have 10 people turn up but that's a really engaging conversation where everyone learns yeah and because Kiwi Fu um, was an unconference and also a camp at the same time these discussions don't just happen within the hour of each kind of seminar uh, you know, yeah. they happen in the kitchen. They happen at the bar. Yeah. They happen, you know, they happen t- at four a.m. in the morning. You know, yeah. <laughs> and that's when some of the best conversations happen over a whiskey yeah, yeah. at four a.m. in the morning. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't surprise me. <laughs> and of course, and of course, you know, the the, the context. I, I think it's fantastic for this for this show as well yeah. that I was able to be there because um, because I met so many um, amazing and fascinating people in so many amazing and fascinating fields that I'm keen yeah. to bring onto the show and share with yeah. everyone else as well. Yeah. It's quite remarkable that the interesting people you meet at an unconference. Yeah. Because... That, that you would never have heard of yeah, before. There's, yeah. there's no barriers or restrictions. No. So if someone's a Muppet and you don't want to listen to them, you don't go and listen to them. Yeah. Whereas at a normal conference, you're like, oh, come on, Ben, let, let's go have, off, let's go have a coffee for the yeah. next hour. I'm not too keen on this one. Yeah. yeah. Whereas at an unconference, there's three or four sessions running at once. Yes. Yeah, and the, but the difficulty I found was actually choosing what to go yeah. to because there's always so yeah, many. Yeah, you're good always things. weighing it up. Yeah. So, so what I tend to do is I tend to um, bring along someone that has similar interests to me, and, and we divvy it up. Right. <laughs> we, you go to that one. You go to that one, and let's collect notes at the end. Yeah, and and, that, and a lot of that was happening. Uh, a yep. lot of sharing afterwards. I heard this and this that thing, and um, you know, uh, over um, we we had a fantastic um, meal. On Saturday night, um, it was um, uh, free. Free. Oh, I was going to say free range, but that that's not quite right. Organic um, lamb yeah. from uh, Farm Geek. Uh, if anyone follows oh, wow. Farm Geek on Twitter, uh, he had hauled it up on a train in a. Um, no, I shouldn't actually say how he got it up because, <laughs> because that was a bit of a secret. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. it arrived at the camp, and uh, and 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 the, dis- the discussions about yeah. about food. The, uh, food yeah. was a big thing. Yeah. Um, and food. What kind of discussions technology? around food? Well, there Te- was technology or organic or being green or yeah, or the science behind yeah. food. I yeah. think it was it was a big thing, but also being being green was a um what was 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 one of the great messages coming yeah. through, and green is in you know just just thinking about where your food comes from. Yeah. And um, I, I didn't I didn't go to it. I'm not sure it happened, but there was a screening of food, food ink. Oh, okay, I haven't seen that yet. Um, uh, there and so there was there was yeah a lot of thoughts about the future as yeah. well and. And and I, I came away very optimistic, because 
in the day to day grind, you're often stuck in, in whatever your job yeah. is. And you know, my, show, yeah. my job is doing the show and all the post production involved in the producing yeah. of it. And it's hard to sometimes step out of yeah. whatever job you're in, step yeah. out and think about the bigger picture, think about yeah. ideas bigger than yourself. Yeah. Yeah. A- and getting ins- inspiration from areas that you would never have engaged with. That's before. right. Yeah. So I recommend if anyone gets an opportunity to um, to go to something called Unconference, do it, or 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 if you're in a certain field, maybe start one yourself. Yeah, uh, if you just Google the term bar camp, yeah, or or foo camp, uh, that's F O O camp, yeah, or bar camp, B A R camp, and you'll just find out how to run an unconference, what you should do, what you shouldn't do, and the best thing is if you can run it in your own little industry, yeah, and then pull people from all aspects of the industry, from juniors to seniors to guys that have just gotten out and. The, and then the other, and because one of the other things behind it is is this um, this openness that everyone shares, um, and that without um, fear um, of of it being shared yep. in a in a public forum or, or being yep. being you know, you know Chinese whispers yep. because you 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 you're meant to ask someone uh, can I can I go outside this conference and share this yeah um, first yeah yeah. Yeah, so, so sorry if I'm geeking and the, about the, <laughs> the lamb and how it got in the <laughs> yeah. But that, that is the beauty. It, because of the conversations, the, the ideas are free to flow within the little community. Yeah. Rather than the normal restrictions of worrying about, are my competitors here? Chances are your competitors are there, but they have to embrace the same kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, that's ecosystem. right. Yeah, that was one of the funniest things was seeing um, uh, Vodafone and Telecom and Orcon you know, in the oh, same really? room, and particularly yep. um, Vodafone and. Uh, and and telecom yep. and the jokes that were flying between them, you know, because yep. telecom has just had this big problem with the XT network yep. going down, and uh, but yep. it, yeah, there's a lot of openness about yep. that from telecom, yep. and you know, they totally totally screwed up, and, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they're trying to work on that. Yeah, we yeah. dropped the ball, trying to pick it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so um, so it was it was good times. Excellent.